fantastic people. I'm here to do a video as always, and I have to do one because so much going on in the news. I got a re last night. I got a, a message again. Four winds loosed coming from Mayor Not the Lord is coming. I'm gonna read that uh, if I can some of it because I think all these prophets are coming together. All these prophetess and prophets and messengers and. YouTubers and whoever out there who walking with Yeshua almost have the same message going out. I have some messages today coming from Miss Sophie. Uh, she have uh, two people on her uh, channel that I want to share with you guys. Um, Mina Greben is also on there as well. So I want to share some messages from Miss Sophie. Got a quite a long message, but it's a real urgent message. So I'm going to try to do this with, before 40 minutes if I can, okay? I'm going to try to. But uh, no rush, no hurry. Uh, I'm just here to chill out with Yeshua and with you guys. And I'm telling you because we need to keep signing the trumpet. I don't care because we don't know when the curtain can go down. The curtain can go down any time. Israel already in a in a in a uh, rough you know going through rough edges right now and it's going to escalate. So we need to be praying for Israel, praying for America, praying for all this blood moon coming here the 27th. Uh, Obama is over in uh, Kenya. I was just looking at some of that information this morning. Uh, we need to be praying for Kenya, praying for Africa, praying for the nations, praying for all your people, all God's people, all Yah's people all over the world. That we could be stand strong before the enemy uh, because Yeshua said that greater he that is in us than he that is in the world. So I just want to know that it's time to do what we can while we can, people. Right now, I mean, anytime you can do a video, anytime you can give a track out, anytime you can get books out, anytime you can just talk to your neighbor, uh, talk to someone in your, uh, your grocery store, whatever you can do right now, do it for Yeshua. Okay, do it for him because uh, time is really fleeting away from us so quickly. So on the screen here, I have uh, information that came up again from uh, End Time Headlines. And it's about this uh, Kellogg's Honey Smacks. And I don't know, um, I don't even think, you know, Honey Smacks. I heard a Honey Crisp or something, but I don't know about, oh, Sugar Crisp. Remind me of Sugar Crisp, Syria. Lest they, you know, change the title or something. But I don't eat these kind of cereals now. I eat, uh, you know, I eat granola, granola most of the time. I eat the uh, raisin bran or something like that, or uh, oatmeal. But this is Honey Smacks, okay. And I know some of you out there may have children that eat it. So I want to really advertise it again in case you haven't seen it on the news. The Centers for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says a popular Kellogg cereal has been linked to Salamali. So, 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 how you say that word right? Somalia? Samamala? Sam, Salmonella. 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 I know I can say it right. Outbreak that has infected 100 people in 33 states. The CDC treated Thursday that customers should avoid honey smacks. Do not eat this cereal to warn and read, okay? So um, we need to understand not to eat it, not to, uh, you know, you can return it to the manufacturer maybe if you want your money back, whatever. But I'm just saying uh, they said not to eat it, like it says here. The CDC says that regardless of expiration date, the cereal should be thrown away. I'll return to a retailer for a refund, okay? And I got to read more. I'm not going to click on that, but... Anyway, I just wanted to get that out to you. And right now, I'm going to go over here to uh, Miss Sophie because she got a long message here. And I want to really make sure that I get to read it to you guys because I know some of you guys will look at my videos and just read, I mean, hear what I'm saying, but not going to the description box and clicking on other links to get more material. And I'm not saying everybody, but I know some of you probably don't, okay? So I want to make sure you get this message. So I'm going to read it today myself to you. And then I'm going to go to Maranatha. The Lord is coming and read that. And then I'm going to read some uh, information here coming from uh, this video. I'm going to post on the screen. I just heard it very 
very good video. If you have small children, you might want to look at it with them, okay? Because it got some scenes on there, uh, especially when you're showing the devil. It's kind of scary. But uh, anyway, uh, this one here, everything you, everything you know about the devil is about to change is a really good 10-minute video. And then I'm going to go over here and look at Mina Grebin, where she's talking about a three-part prophetic vision. Scroll three seals broken, Pope Francis and Jared Kushner, and Jared's role in this, okay? And so uh, I do know all these antichrists are getting together. They all getting together, absolutely. Uh, Prince William, all of them, okay? They're getting together. And so... We know we got a lot going on with that. So let me go here first, though, and read from uh, Sophie here, her message. And her message says, time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. Make your decision now. Make your decision now. Okay. And like I always tell people every day, you don't know if you're going to wake up tomorrow. You don't know if you're going to come back home alive tomorrow. I just told you I had a family member just in a bam, bam, crash, okay, some woman hit him, and I'm just praising God, because he's alive, okay, so I'm just saying, you don't know, people, what can happen at any time, you need to be giving your life to Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ today, okay, so I'm gonna go here now and read it right now, Father, be with me as I read from uh, your servants out there who believe in your name, Father, who know that you are coming again soon, Yeshua, so I ask that you help me. Let your Holy Spirit help me read this. Uh, help the people to be awakened. Help people to be shaken. Help people to know that we have no time to waste. Time is absolutely of essence, uh, Yeshua. Help people to see that. And we ask it in Yeshua's name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <clears throat> so she says here, my daughter, my child, Yeshua told her, my daughter, my child, write these words down. <clears throat> so it says, woe to, woe unto the inhabitants of America that have continually rejected my truth, denied that I am, has always been, laughed, mocked, scorned, living as you wish in your sins. Yo comp compiapunts uh, is about to come upon you. You'll come up us. It's about to come upon you. Did you think you will not pay for how you live your life for rejecting my word? There is payment to be made. The devil will require payment of you if you sell your soul to live according to his ways. You will pay with your soul. He is coming to collect. He did not give you the desires of your heart as a free gift. And those who wanted much wealth, he gave wealth. For those who wanted all the pleasures in this world, so you could bask and wallow in your filth, he gave it to you. Did you know you will not have to pay the devil his due? Think again. Your soul is required and he will have it. There are different levels of punishment in hell and you will spend eternity there. People listen really closely to this message. Very, very important message. Okay. Everything you desire here, everything you desired here will mean nothing when it comes to collect. There will be no wealth, no houses, no cars, no women, no men, no light, no water, no food, things of this world. There will only be darkness, fire, screaming, wailing, pain, torment, never any rest hopelessness as you realize you will never get out when you desire when you decide to reject me and deny me you will be forever separated from me as i am the giver of life in there is no in there is only death as i am the light in there is only darkness as i am the one who provided for the body and soul in there will be no water no food nothing to nourish you spiritually my spirit is the fire, but in hell is only the burning fire of charred bodies, souls, tormented forever. You will never be free from the pain in hell. Your cries will go unheard. The demons will laugh in your faces as they pierce you over, over, and over again. 
as they pierce you over and over again. The stench of sin will be the only smell there. The smell of suffer all around you. I am the breath of heaven. This fresh air one needs, but when you reject me, I will reject you. So the smell of the sins of man is what you will breathe in. Oh my goodness, people. I don't want to have nothing to do with hell. I don't want to have nothing to do with the enemy. I don't want to have nothing to do with Satan. I don't want to have nothing to do with Lucifer. You shouldn't either. We don't want to have nothing to do with him. Father, cleanse me every day. Get me away from the world. We're in the world, but not of the world. Get us out of the world, Father. Help us, your Father. Help us, Yeshua. Help us all. Children, I write this to you to give you a short dissertation of what hell is like. Children, you plan your lives on earth, your wants, your desires, your vacations, your retirement, yet you never plan for your eternity. Life here is short compared to eternity. Why do you desire to give up an eternity of joy, peace that surpasses understanding, love you never reject, love you never received on earth the way I love? No man can truly fathom the depths of this love. Oh, absolutely, people. Absolutely. You are willingly, you are willingly forfeiting your joy and salvation for what? A car, a boat, casual sex, alcohol, drugs. This is worth it to you? Oh, how foolish man truly is. Temporal pleasure versus eternal pleasure. You are gambling with your life, throwing it away instead of reaching for everlasting life. You think turning away from sin is too hard to do? And when you are thrown into hell, you will wish you had listened and obeyed and turned from your sins, your wickedness. You say, God is good. He will never put me in hell. This you speak truth of. I do not put you in hell. I do not need to, for you are, for you willingly put yourselves there. Hallelujah. See that, people? It's true. We willingly put ourselves there. I am is a good God, and I do not desire any of you to go there. You desire this to be your final destination. Oh, hallelujah. Help us, Father. Help us, my Father. Help us. You children know better, and you all know between right and wrong, and even when convicted of sin, you choose to deny it and run to your false shepherds that tell you that past, present, and future sins are all covered. You justify this false doctrine to remain in sin. Your once saved, always saved doctrine of demons will never get you into my kingdom. I require a much higher standard of living. I am is only coming for a pure spotless bride. I hate the stench of sin. I hate all your abominations you partake of. I am is a God that also requires one to walk according to my commands. Most of you children will not inherit the kingdom because you continually wrestle with me in your spirit. Your rebellious nature and disobedience to obey me will not go unpunished. Chastening is about to come hard upon my children. And if you still reject me and refuse to come out of rebellion, you will have sealed your own demise. And that's why I'm reading today from Maranatha, the Lord is coming, because it's talking about that sealing, uh, the four winds being loosed and Yahweh is sealing. Okay, his people, all oh, people, we got to get ready. We got to stay ready. We got to be ready when Yeshua come. Hallelujah. Children, you believe there is no hell. How can that be when there is good and there is evil? Where does evil come from? You say there is a God, yet Satan does not exist. Because before he was Satan, he was Lucifer. And he was my most beautiful archangel, my covering but he was full of pride and thought he should be the one on my throne. He turned one third of my angels against me and caused much dissension and discord in heaven. It is for this reason I took away his status, his beauty, and I made him God of this world after the fall of man. He has put his stamp on everything in, in the world. He works through the minds of men and it is how he controls everything on earth. He does this through manipulation, deceit and offers his servants riches and power. He feeds their egos and has gotten man to do his bidding. And when it is time, Satan will take them down with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, people. We need to stay away from the enemy. We need to really stay away. I am the good in the world. 
all good things come from me. I give wealth to those that will use it to further my kingdom if they have a special calling on their lives for a specific purpose. I give peace, understanding, hope, healing, restoration. I bless man with children and Satan convinces man to kill my babies through abortion or abuse. He hates anything good and knows children are precious to me. He goes after all those that wish to follow me to want a relationship with me. So to keep man from having a relationship with me, he created his empire through religion. Religion is man-made and men, women serve him well. That this is why there are so many different religions, different paths. Oh, people, oh, people, listen to that. Satan is cunning and clever. If you give man different religions, you can then keep them from ever finding their way back to me. My word says there is only one way, one truth, but he has, con but he has conned man into thinking there are many spiritual paths to me. All these paths he put in place all lead to hell. One way, I mean, my way is one way. It is narrow. My son rebuked the Pharisees for their religion, teaching man-made doctrines, okay? Man-made doctrines. Oh, hold on, my pad stick in here. All I ever thought my son to teach was to walk with me in obedience to my commands. He never followed anyone, synagogue. He went place to place, city to city, teaching the error of their ways, my true followers then and to this day fellowship with me anywhere. When you speak my words, share my gospel while in a store, you are fellowshipping. When you invite others to join in prayer, you are fellowshipping with me. When two or more are gathered, I am there. The church systems will fall for they chase other gods. Churches, mosques, temples will fall. I understand, children, how deceived you have been, and I see how you got I see how you go to your church, then leave and go right back into your sins. Why do you go if I have no desire to change your ways? You are wasting your time and it is revolting to me. I will be with the other. I will be with the one on their knees at home, crying out to me, asking for me, asking for my help to change them. These cry out from the heart and true repentance. And this is how I want all my children to come to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, people. Here it is. Not only for me. I told you these buildings and churches and mass mega churches and all these things, just after your money. And they, you, you'll find out this little video I told you guys I want you to see. Uh, I really, uh, he talked about that in there also. Okay, hold on here. You need to stop playing church. There it is. They are about to fall. Most are not of me. You must stop playing. You must stop praying to saints to other false gods and temples, in mosques also. You must turn from following all false gods. This is not a mere suggestion, but a commandment I put in place for all men to follow. If you are in idol tree, you will go to hell. Thou shall have no other gods before me. Mary, Mother Mary won't get you into heaven. Buddha won't get you in. Allah won't get you in. There are millions of false gods people follow, and none will get you in. Only my son will save you. There is absolutely no other path. Stop praying to stone statutes. Stop praying to the dead. Stop lighting incense to Shiva. Stop bowing to statues. Stop bowing to the false prophet, the Pope. He was not given authority by me. He follows the God of the world, his daddy of lies, Satan. This is his master. See, there it is, people. You think I'm the only one talking about this on my channel? Hallelujah. Yeshua is telling uh, Miss Sophie about it as well. And I'm telling you, and a lot of the brother I shared yesterday, he's telling a lot of his children about all these idol trees, all these pagan sun gods, okay, and all these things out there, people. You need to wake up today, people. Wake up, okay. These are the last warnings I am given, and I give these warnings out of my great love and mercy. I am sovereign. I am the almighty. There is none besides me. There is none, there's none who can compare to me. I am the God you ought to follow. I am Elohim. I am your father. I am that I am. I am all that you need. 
Everything is here within me. I gave you my beloved son to show you my great love for my creation. My son came, lived, died, and rose again for you. His wounds atoned for your past transgressions. He suffered horrendously for you. Where is your thankfulness for his sacrifice? Would you have been able to do what he did for you? No, you would not. Oh, hallelujah. No, we would have failed and falled all along, long, long, long time ago. Instead of coming to him, you, instead of coming to him, you children, most of you are chasing other gods. Anything or anyone you lift higher than me is idolatry. Mammoth is an idol. When you chase after mammoth, you make it a god unto you. Spouses are idols. Sport teams and players are idols. Cars are idols. Too many to list all. You must repent. Make me your first love. Remove idol tree. Remove your sin by coming before me so I can wash you daily. All your idols I am going to take from you in order to get your attention. You will then have only one last chance to repent and return to me. There is only one returning for his bride. His name is Yeshua HaMashiach and he will rule with a rod of iron. Repent now for the kingdom of God is at hand. If you do not, you will not receive everlasting life. Come out of her, my people, or you will suffer of her plagues. Time is of the essence for that door will be shut soon. I am the father of all creation and all created beings were born to praise and worship only me. You are not to bow to other strange gods. Enough said. Stop elevating man above me. Make your decision now. Make your decision now. The most holy high father, the only holy father, uh, given by Sophie on 7 12 2018. And I love it. Exodus 23. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Hallelujah. Okay. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, for thou hast left thy first what? Love. All right. Revelation 2 4. So I'm going to stop there, people. I'm going to go over here to Mina Grabin. Uh, and, and, um, and I really want you guys to look at this. Do you know this? Everything you know about the devil, about the change, I will put it in the description box along with Sophie's message as well, her link as well. You can go look at it again. You can, you can share that link with others. Okay. Uh, we need to all be sharing these things with others. Okay. Three part prophetic vision, scroll three seals broken, Pope Francis and Jared Kushner and Jared's role in this. Okay, so let's go see what Mina has to say. I know you guys heard of Mina Lee Griffin. I've been knowing her for quite a few years now, about five years, maybe less. Uh, uh, and so uh, she have a channel on you. On you can go to Facebook, and you can see her on Facebook on the Faithful Walk Healing Ministries. Uh, so I'm gonna just go ahead and read what she says here. Um, she always posts things on her Facebook channel there. Okay, so this is uh, Mina D D. Grevin. She got this Thursday, July 12th, 2018. And she says here, I would like to share a three-part vision that I had about two weeks ago. In the first part of the vision, I saw a scroll with seven seals, and the first three seals were already broken. <coughs> Let me get some water here. Okay, thank you. The first three seals was already broken. Okay, it says here. In the first part of the vision, I saw a scroll with seven seals, and the first three seals were already broken. In the second part of the vision, I saw Pope Francis kneeling before me as though in prayer. He was in a hall that looked to be ancient in design. Behind him, the hall dropped off into great darkness. At after a short period of time, a figure appeared out of the darkness and walked up towards the Pope. It was Jared Kushner. He stood on the left side of the Pope and then leaned to in to whisper in his ear. I could not hear what Jared was saying, but I noticed the Pope's eyes widening, and then he turned to Jared to respond again. I was not allowed to hear the discussion, but I knew it it but I knew it to be sinister sinister in nature. In the third part of my vision, I saw blank papyrus paper rolled out in front of me in a form of a scroll. 
the voice of the Lord thundered from heaven and words began to appear on the paper as he spoke. The Lord said, a wicked and adulterous generation seeks after a sign. He paused for a second and then continued, Satan is giving the apostate church the signs that they are looking for. It is not from me. Okay. He then ended with, I am coming. The Lord then spoke to my spirit and gave me understanding that the Western church has sought after visions, prophecies, dreams, indicating that we have more time, that God's judgment has been withheld. And in some cases are even insinuating that we can change Bible prophecy regarding the end of the age. Oh my goodness. I heard this too, people. You know, that is a bunch of foolishness. Okay. What is written is written. And I don't know why people are praying to keep Yahweh away. They should be praying for him to come quickly. Come quickly. I agree with you, Mina. You can come quickly. And there are many who have seen, heard, and dreamt that they are seeking. But the Lord is saying that Satan has given them these signs so that they remain blind. See, that they remain blind to the truth that it has already begun. The seals are being opened and there is no reprieve given, okay? The Lord also wants us to know that Jared Kushner has a role in these end time events. What role specifically was not revealed to me? Some will speculate on what and who, but the important thing to know is that he is and will continue to be involved with, he will continue to be involved just like Barack Obama. Like I told you, Obama is, is an antichrist. Uh, Jared, Jared is an antichrist, most likely. Prince William, it, it might be the main antichrist. We're all watching, watching. Uh, you know, but these are antichrists. Yeshua sure said will be many antichrists, okay? Besides this, you know the time that the hour has come for you to wake from sleep, for salvation is nearer to us than when we first believed. Romans 13, 11. As with all things, take this to prayer. Shalom. Mina Lee grabbing from Faithful Walk Healing Ministries. Okay, so I'm going to go over here now and read from Maranatha, the Lord is coming. I'm going to read from that. And I, you know what, I'm really, uh, I keep getting this, this on my mind, but uh, this video here, uh, this short video, I want you to play. Okay, and I'm just going to play probably three minutes of it just to give you an idea what it's about. But uh, I'm telling you guys, uh, I'm telling you guys uh, to go and listen to it, okay? I'm going to stop it really briefly here, but I want you guys to listen to it. And I don't even know this. Okay. Now, the first thing in any battle is to define your enemy, to identify your enemy. Before you decide how you can overcome him, you've got to identify him. You've got to be sure you've identified the right enemy. Never pray against people because you're not wrestling against flesh and blood. Human beings are not the enemies. We are wrestling against beings without bodies. We are wrestling against the devil himself in prayer, and it is a real battle. Now, let me just tell you a bit about the devil first so that you've got a clear picture in your mind of what we're praying against. Christians are called not only to pray for people, but to pray against certain persons chief of whom is Satan himself. Let me then tell you something of what the Bible says about him. First of all, the Bible does not paint him as a horned creature with a forked tail. That's the sort of thing that makes us laugh at him, take him less than seriously. See, the Bible says he's a real person. The Bible never calls the devil it, always he. Next, the Bible says that he has a heart and a mind and a will. And if a heart and a mind and a will don't make a personality, I don't know what does talks about the devil's feelings, talks about his thoughts, and it talks about his motives. And that means to me a person. So the devil is not just a, a kind of vague word to sum up all the forces of evil in the world. Now, Jesus himself took Satan desperately seriously. He never made a joke about him. He never laughed at him. He never caricatured him. Here are some of the titles that Jesus gave Satan. He said he is the prince of this world. When Satan offered Jesus all the kingdoms of the world, Jesus did not say they are not yours to give because he knew perfectly well they were Satan's to give. And it is a, a horrible thought if you really realize it that the world in which we live is ruled over by Satan. 
he is the prince of this world. But let's take it a step further. Do you know that another title Jesus gave to Satan? He said he's not only the ruler or prince of this world, he is the God of this world. The only other person beside his heavenly father to whom Jesus ever applied the word God was Satan. He said, my heavenly father is God of everything. But of this world, Satan is God, which means very simply, not only that Satan controls this world and is able to manipulate science and education and politics for his own ends. More than that, Satan is actually the real God whom most people on earth worship, whether they know it or not. That behind so much religion, behind so much activity, Satan is the one who's being worshipped. He's the person. And even by some who go to church and chapel on Sunday, in reality, he's their God. For they worship the things that he offers them. They want the things of the world that he belongs to and rules over, rather than setting their mind on the things that are above where Jesus is. And if you want this world, and if you want the things of this world, then I give you a piece of advice. Make Satan your God. If you want this world, he's a wonderful God to have because he'll give it to you. There's only one snag. There's always a price to pay. When the bill comes in, you may not be quite so happy, but he'll give it to you. He can give you money. He can give you fame. He can give you anything you want because it's his to give. Where have you been, Satan, says God in the book of Job? Well, I've been patrolling the earth. I've been looking around my estate. And he had. Now, let's get this clear. That doesn't mean that God is helpless in this world. It does mean, and we've got to think this through, that God is allowing Satan to be prince of this world and God of this world. He's allowed it. And people say, what does God think he's doing allowing that? Well, I would just say my only answer to that one is, what's he doing allowing you to be like you are? Why should you blame him for allowing Satan to rebel when he allowed you to? The answer is very simple. He's a father and he will not force any of his creatures to go his way and he gives you freedom to rebel and we can't grumble about him giving the angels freedom though they have superior intelligence and strength because he gave us the same freedom and we've used it in the wrong way the true Christian takes the devil very seriously indeed some of you listening, listening to me tonight just know how seriously you take him. I, I just hope you never do have a direct encounter with him because it's pretty scary. Okay. I played almost half of it, so you can go listen to the rest of it. But those are the main points I wanted to bring out. The devil is just out to get you people. He's really out to get you, destroy you in every way possible. <clears throat> And we need to be giving our life to Yeshua HaMashiach today, our, our true king who's going to come and reign forever and forever. And, you know, uh, <clears throat> we just need to get in his word and really give our life to him because we, we don't really have a lot of time left, people. All the seals are opening, as Mina just said. Uh, the seals are opening. Uh, and I'm going to go here and, and read right now, uh, coming from Maranatha, the Lord is coming. And she's talking about this as well. I got this last night, late last night, uh, about 2 a.m. in the morning, probably. I don't know. And I read it, and I was going to share it here with you guys today. I love this because Yeshua was just tell me, oh, go read here, go turn to that page. And when I turn to the page, it's amazing how things, cause these messengers come to me. But this is the one about the uh, four winds loosed, okay? Four winds loosed. <clears throat> and I'm going to let you guys go for Sunday. <clears throat> Let's see here. She says here, the four winds loosed, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Revelation 7, 3. Angels are belting the world, refusing uh, Satan, his claims to supremacy, made because of the vast multitude of his adherents. We hear not the voices. We see with the natural sight the work of these angels. But their hands are linked around the world. The, their hands are linked about the world. And with sleepless vigilance, they are keeping the armies of Satan at bay till the sealing of God's people shall be accomplished. John sees the elements of nature, earthquakes, tempests, and political strife. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that way back in the 1800s, this woman? 
I told you, I, I really believe that she wrote a lot of these things for our time, for the end time, people. Okay. So he says here, uh, political strife absolutely going on. You got Putin and, and Trump. You got uh, a lot of people against Trump because they talk, he's uh, talking to the Russians, period. You know, all these things going on on the TV. I was looking at some of it last night. Uh, you know, we got all this political strife going on. Uh, represented as being held by four angels, all these things, these elements of nature. These winds are under control until God gives the word to let them go. There is the safety of God's church, the angels of God to do his bidding, holding back the winds of the earth, that the winds should not blow on the earth, not on the sea, not on any tree, until the servants of God should be sealed in their foreheads. Hallelujah. The present is a time of overwhelming interest to all living, rulers and statesmen, men who occupy positions of trust and authority, thinking men and women of all classes have their attention fixed upon the events taking place about us. They are watching the strained, restless relations that exist among the nations. They observe the intensity that is taking possession of every earthly element, and they realize that something great and decisive is about to take place, that the world is on the verge of a suspend, suspendous crisis, stupendous crisis. Angels are now restraining the winds of strife until the world shall be warned of its coming doom. But a storm is gathering, ready to burst upon the earth. And when God shall bid his angels loose the winds, there will be such a scene of strife as no pen can picture. A moment of respite has been graciously given us of God. Every power lent us of heaven is to be used in doing the work assigned us by the Lord for those who are perishing in ignorance. The warning message is to be sounded in all parts of the world. A great work is to be done. And this work has been entrusted to those who know the truth for this time. Hallelujah. So like I was saying today already, we need to be doing what we can while we can. If Yahweh have entrusted truth to you, if he's given you visions, dreams, whatever, you need to share it with other people. He didn't give it to you to keep to yourself. You know, we need to be doing some things to wake people up, people. It's time to wake them up because this, this world going to reel and rock like a drunk man. It's going to be shaken. I can say everything that can be shaken will be shaken. And it's all before us coming now. Oh, I'm so excited about this blood moon. I'm so excited excited it's coming right on sabbath on friday night and then we have the the, uh, the day of all coming the ninth of all which is going to be i don't know if it's before or it's going to be before i think it's going to be somewhere before this blood moon take place but you know normally when you see that in in hebrew times it the day of all or, or the ninth of all was a time when it was great troubles, a great trouble in Israel, war, something going to break out. But I'm telling you, we need to be praying people, staying in the word, sharing the word, sharing the gospel, doing what we can while we can. Okay. So I'm going to let you go now. Father, be with the people watching today. We know that you are soon coming, Father. All your prophets, all your prophetess, all your messengers, all your, uh, 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 what I want to say, watchmen of uh, women, women and men, no matter who they are, what age they are. Uh, all these people are shouting and sounding the trumpet, Father. We need to know very soon you are coming, you fool my father. We do not want to pray that you stay away. We want to pray that you come quickly. Oh, I want you to come quickly. How could we ever live in this world any much longer? All the sin, all the corruption, all the pain, all the agony. Oh, father, we want you to come quickly. And we ask that your Holy Spirit will come and be with your people watching today. We help them, father. We know a lot of needs are uh, people in need of food. People in need of shelter. People in need of clothing. People in need of transportation. People in need of jobs. Uh, people have health issues. Issues. We just ask that you touch them, Father, today. I decree and declare it right now before Yeshua HaMashiach that you touch them, Father, and they be healed. They be delivered. Uh, uh, all they need to be uh, met, Father, as you say in Philippians 19, I will supply all of your needs according to my riches and glory in Yeshua HaMashiach. So, Father, we thank you for this day. We bind Satan. We bind that enemy. 
We bind Satan and all his evil angels below, beyond, beneath, mentioned and unmentioned, known and unknown. We bind all evil spirits on assignment against us in every way, Father. We ask that your Holy Spirit will be loosed upon the lands, helping people to awaken, to come out of sleep, Father, to come out of sleep and help us to be watching, watching, watching and praying, watching and be sober, be sober. And we thank you, Father, for your love for us in every way. We ask that you would bless the people to give, uh, Father, as they can give to help the missionaries, to help the fatherless, the motherless, the homeless uh, in this time, Father. We know we have to send those financial angels across the world to touch people's hearts to give for this purpose, Father, for your purpose, because we know you are soon coming. And you said that when the, when the uh, salvation, I mean, when the, uh, uh, oh, I can't think of that, when the foundations of the earth, yeah, when the foundations of the earth are destroyed, when the foundations of the earth are destroyed, what will the righteous do? We can't do absolutely nothing when it's destroyed. We need to work while it is day. Oh, hallelujah. Help us to work while it is day, Father. We just thank you so much for your love, your care. Uh, bless your holy name. And we ask that you uh, help your people, Father. Help Israel. Bless Israel. Help Israel to rise, Father. Help them to know that you will be the captain, Father. I just thank you so much for your love, your care. We just love that the prophecies are going forth where we can go home. We can go home home. Get out of here, Father. Oh, come quickly, Yeshua. Thank you so much. We ask for all these blessings in your name. Shalom, shalom. So I'll see you guys in another video. Um, please go into the uh, description of uh, my box and look at the other links I will post there. Uh, don't forget, because I always post a lot of things in the description box every day, news and updates, different things, okay? So just go make sure you go look and, and uh, you have a wonderful Sunday. Shalom, shalom. Bye-bye. Love you so much. Bye-bye.